Good morning, everyone. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together in love. Good morning and welcome to our Bind Us Together live stream daily devotion. And... Um, April 4th, here we go. Um, so uh, yesterday, the um, announcement from the CDC uh, was the recommendation to wear uh, face masks uh, when we go out into public. And so, um, so here we go. Here's my face mask. Oop, my hair bands are a little tight and my ears are a little too, oop, there we go. We're gonna get it ready. Um, we have uh, the community dinner tonight. And so you will see me with my beautiful peace uh, bandana. <laughs> so uh, let's get some pictures of people in their face masks uh, on here. Um, so this was just a um, bandana folded uh, with two hair bands. Unfortunately, these are brand new hair bands and they, they're um, not quite loose enough yet, but the ones that I sent uh, Kevin out with last night at the grocery store, um, uh, his seemed to be okay. Though his complaint was, oh, it's hot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, keeping all that uh, that heat inside. So, um, uh, good morning, Debbie. Good to see you there. Uh, so, do you have your face masks uh, ready to go if you need to go out to the grocery store or or wherever? Um, uh, or are you just not going to go anywhere, so you don't need a face mask? <laughs> Oh, so how's everybody doing? We are, um, what, uh, for Idaho, a week and a half into this, um, for Washington, two weeks into our uh, stay-at-home order, and has anyone gone crazy yet? Uh, if so, I want to see pictures. So just make sure that if you go crazy, that... Um, you you post pictures for all of us to see. Um, so yesterday I was watching the news and um, I I heard uh, a couple of things uh, that um, I am basing this morning's devotion around. So um, I heard that uh, Bill Withers, who is uh, was a song writer, singer, um, performer, uh, that he died, um, not of uh, the coronavirus, uh, but of heart trouble. And um, he is the one who wrote Lean On Me. Uh, so that was one bit of news on one side. He died March 30th. And then on the other, um, uh, I saw uh, as uh, people were uh, gathering outside at good social distancing, um, but uh, gathering outside their neighborhood as um, one of their neighbors um, arrived uh, home from her shift at the hospital. And they were welcoming her singing uh, Bill Withers' song, um, uh, lean on me. And so, uh, that made me think of, 
um, of Jesus saying uh, in um, Matthew chapter 11, come to me, all you who are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Um, when I started these devotions, uh, this was uh, probably the first uh, scripture to pop into my mind, but I almost thought it was almost too um, uh, cliche in, in a sense. And so um, wanted to use it at the right time. And so with uh, hearing these two stories yesterday um, about Bill Withers and then uh, neighbors singing uh, his song, Lean On Me, uh, to their returning neighbors who were working at the hospitals, um, that uh, it, it had to come together. Um, one of the things that is interesting in this is um, the, the idea of a yoke. And so uh, there is a, we talk about a yoke of oxen. So that's two oxen who are yoked together by this long um, piece of wood that sets over their necks uh, to connect them together. Um, and there's a couple of ways that we can think about this, this yoke. Um, they're, they're big, they're made of wood, uh, they're heavy, so it can feel like a, a weight. Um, um, and so uh, frequently that's how uh, that word is used. Um, but then there's another way of uh, looking at uh, a yoke. So in, um, in the times of, of Christ, uh, the rabbis would talk about the law as being a yoke. And this was not to mean a heavy burden, um, but as a guide, because if you are yoked, if the two ox are yoked, then they they can't go their separate ways. They they go together, and so um, they they guide each other, and they have to walk together. And so this is the way that um, the rabbis at the time talked about the law as um, being that yoke, and. Uh, so seeing that this is the guide that we need for, um, for walking our life's journey. Uh, so, so if we think of yoke in that way, as connecting us together, not in a negative way, but in support of one another. Um, so when Jesus says um, that, uh, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We can think about it not as a, a burden, but as that guide so that um, Jesus is guiding us, is walking with us, um, and that his yoke then is that support for us as we journey through our lives. Um, and I, I have experienced um, at different times in my life where it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. I'm, I'm learning something new. I need someone to guide me. And so a mentor or a teacher um, can be then in this way yoked with you so that as 
they are doing what they're doing. You are doing it and you're learning, you're observing, you're going along. Um, and uh, so I, I like that, that image, instead of uh, seeing a yoke as a burden, but as a way of binding us together, which is my overall theme, uh, um, but you know, helping us to, um, to learn and uh, do what needs to be done. So uh, Jesus then has this yoke to help us. You can't see my hands. I keep doing that, <laughs> but you can't see my hands. Um, so Jesus then uh, gives us this yoke so that um, he is guiding us. Doesn't mean that we're being forced in a direction that we don't want to go, but but uh, you know how it is as you're, you're walking along and someone will just make a, a slight uh, motion in a, a direction and you just follow along. Um, it's, it's easy in this way. The, the yoke is easy because it's just a little, a gentle little push. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Um, so, uh, and I think that uh, for uh, people who are, um, as Jesus says, um, weary and carrying heavy burdens, um, that that just that little nudge to, to keep you moving forward, to keep um, going in the right direction. That that's a, a beautiful image for those of us who are fear, feeling weary and heavily burdened um, at any time in our life, but especially now as we are all feeling um, this, this burden. Um, so I, uh, um, I want to ask you to do something with me. And you know, you're, you're alone in front of your computer, so nobody is gonna see you doing this or hear you doing this, um, but just do it with me. Lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. That really is what this time together is about, uh, what the church is about in, in all times, um, but particularly in this difficult time because we are journeying together. We may be isolated and yet we are yoked together. We have that, um, that yoke uh, that is connecting us, not in uh, being heavily burdened by it, but being joined together and that we can help guide uh, each other uh, when we're feeling too hot, uh, too tired, too weary to take the next step, we can help each other going on. And in turn, when we're feeling down, uh, we can then be guided, uh, be helped forward uh, by those that we are connected to. So I lift up that that yoking today uh, and a reminder that it is Christ who uh, has the invitation to come, who extends it to everyone. Come, all who are weary and heavy laden. So come, you, every single one of you, all of your friends, all of the people around the world, Jesus is reaching out to all of us. Come, all who are weary and heavy laden. And we, as the body of Christ, are 
Jesus' hands and feet. And so we are part of that yoke that helps the world to navigate this difficult time. And I'm just going to keep swirling. I just keep doing that. Um, so anyway, um, anybody uh, want to share anything this morning? I see Linda is there. Good morning, Linda. Um, and Debbie uh, has good news that um, a friend of hers uh, tested negative uh, for COVID-19. Um, he had all of the symptoms, but um, he did not have COVID-19. So praise the Lord for that. We are, are thankful for that. Um, as we move into prayer time, anybody have any uh, prayers that we want to, to lift up today? I did get um, a message from Kaylee Casper uh, yesterday, who is a member of Grace, and she is also a nurse. And um, she was asking for prayers for a friend of hers who has just finished her training as a um, nurse midwife, um, that uh, this friend is heading out to New York to help take care of uh, the folks out there. So we want to remember Heather Witters today um, and uh, thank her for her um, for her compassion and her courage and also ask God for uh, protection for her and for all of the medical staff um, as they continue on. So does anybody have any other uh prayer concerns today. Well, if you do, just uh, type them in and uh, we will pray for them as we go along. So let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for Jesus' invitation to come when we are weary, to come when we are heavy laden. And we trust that in him, even in the midst of the craziness of our lives, that he will give us rest. We thank you that the yoke that Jesus gives us is easy and the burden is, is light and that he walks with us, he guides us when we do, are not strong enough for the next step. He is there with us, taking that step for, for us and bringing us along. Lord, we want to lift up Heather Witters as uh, she heads to New York to take care of those who have been infected with the COVID-19 virus. Lord, we ask uh, for your protection on this uh, compassionate and courageous young woman. Uh, wrap her up in your love, in your protection, and help her to uh, not become weary, but uh, to be able to serve the people of New York who are in desperate need of all the hands of help that they can receive. We also pray for all of the um, medical personnel in our country and around the world, uh, those who are being overwhelmed by the need we ask that you give them strength and we ask that you protect all of them uh, as they are being put in harm's way by the work that they are doing. And yet they continue to step out day after day um, to do the work that they were trained to do, that you have called them to do, to care for the sick. 
We pray for Debbie's grandson, Joe. Um, he's working as a cashier at Rosar's in Colfax, and um, he's working 48 hours a week uh, while school is closed. And, um, and he's still keeping up with his schoolwork online. Lord, we ask for your protection for all of the grocery workers, because where would we be without them? Those who are there to serve us so that we have the food that we need. So we especially lift up Joe and uh, pray for protection for him as he does this vital work of, of serving the community of Colfax. And we pray for all of the grocery workers uh, in our communities and uh, around the nation as they continue to serve us uh, in this important role. And we pray for Linda's brother, Larry, and for his wife, Karen. Um, he is being treated for um, cancer. And when he was getting his last chemo, they informed him that two weeks ago, one of the nurses who had helped him getting prepped has since been tested positive for COVID-19. Lord, this is not something that anybody wanted to happen. This is not what the nurse wanted. Um, Lord, we ask for your protection uh, for Larry and his wife. Uh, Larry's uh, immune system is compromised because of the chemotherapy. And we pray that um, uh, you would protect him um, as he continues to be treated for his cancer. Um, be with the nurse uh, who is um, now uh, COVID-19 positive and, and help her to, um, to heal. Lord, all these things uh, and everything else that is on our hearts and on our minds, we lift up to you, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. And um, I would like to uh, make a request of you. Uh, if this has been something that has been valuable to you, I would ask that you invite your friends, invite your family, invite others uh, to join us. And um, we may not be able to be together physically, uh, but we can still extend the invitation electronically. Um, so the uh, I've posted on my feed, on the Grace's feed, on Genesee's feed, the link that will get people directly to um, our live feed. And my understanding, though I haven't had a way to test this, is that if you use that link, you don't have to be a member of Facebook in order to, um, to see the live stream. So please, if this is helpful to you, if this has been meaningful to you, invite others. Um, tomorrow is Palm Sunday. So I encourage you, we won't have the devotional because we'll be worshiping together tomorrow. And um, so I invite you to bring your homemade palms to, uh, um, to wave. Uh, it will be, a Palm Sunday celebration. I have a whole box of palms here. So <laughs> that I really wish that I could share, but um, they will be on wide display tomorrow. So remember these things. Be kind. Wash your hands. Stay at home. Remember your neighbors and share the good news. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.